Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, bringing you guys a very detailed guide to the new map of Buried. This is going to be a complete beginner's guide, and I'm going to let you guys know uh, this is a beginning tutorial, so those advanced players might not want to watch this. But uh, basically, this is um, where you start at the beginning of the map, and you're going to notice I'm going to go over to uh, a gun that's going to be on the upper tier. You can jump and uh, grab onto ledge and pull yourself up. It is an, an LSAT, which is an LMG gun, and it is a very good gun. However, it's 2,000 points, so if you want to stay up in that area and kill zombies, you can. Um, but uh, but I would recommend just moving on, honestly, and, and hitting the box and stuff like that. So first thing you want to do is grab the Remington off the wall, paint it on right there like I just did, and it gives you 1,000 points. Buy uh, your Quick Revive, which is 500 points. Quick Revive is essential because it does allow you to uh, revive yourself. Um, at this point, you're going to drop down, and you see I'm in the barn area. I'm going to go ahead and cross this plank right over here and uh, go over and fall down this hole right here. This hole is where the giant is, and the key will be right here. It does move through the map, but the very beginning, it starts right here, so you guys know. And you go ahead and unlock this, and then grab the booze right here, and uh, you're going to feed it to him. Whatever way you're facing is the way it's going to actually send him, so just kind of keep that in mind and, and I'll go over that again soon but basically he just ends up knocking down that barrier freeing himself you need him to help you later uh, first there is a mystery box right there and then there's another question mark right over there um, we are gonna go ahead and uh, turn the power on and then we're gonna go back and uh, paint those chocks so if you didn't know this this map this beginning tutorial is really just to get aware of the map unlock doors those sorts of things and get weapons you don't even have to kill any um, zombies until like later on in, in this uh, gameplay. You can play the game for about 10 or 15, 20 minutes and not kill any, any zombies. Just go around and um, find your way around. So right here on the top of the saloon, we're going to jump across and then go through this window. This is where the power is. You don't have to turn this on first, but I just it, I just decided to turn it on first this run. Uh, we have to go now back exactly the way we came. And then instead of jumping off to the right, we're going to go ahead and jump off to the left and then get the, uh, the party started with... Uh, with the, um, the chalk on the walls. Now, uh, there are a bunch of barriers in the map that the giant can go ahead and knock over once you feed him booze. Uh, you get booze from the jail area where it just spawned, or you get booze from the saloon, which I'll show you that again shortly. Um, so there's a lot of uh, hidden tunnels as well, and there's not just one way to get around in this map. There's a couple different ways sometimes to reach certain areas, like right there, there was a couch on the left. Uh, it brings you over to uh, the uh, the mule kick perk and if I went to the right right there it brings me downstairs in the saloon but I'm gonna go ahead and go over across right here on top of this building and uh, go down under mule kick and grab this chalk off the wall now there's six I believe six guns off the wall and you want to grab all of them um, and then we'll you grab all of them one at a time but I'll show you the places you you need to put them as we go uh, right here is the bank. Now, if you have a lot of money saved up and you don't want to do all these steps, you would withdraw money from right there, or you can deposit a thousand right here. Also, along there, there was a key spot right over there that we'll, we'll um, use later. Um, but basically, uh, you can deposit money from a previous game, and then it will show up, and and the future games that you use. So, if you want to avoid um, all this hassle of running around and and going upstairs and downstairs and and unlocking doors and stuff, you can just save up a buttload of money. And uh, and do it that way. I mean, whatever works for you. But um, this is for the, those people that are again more beginners. Anyway, you see right there, there was a question mark. I painted the wall, and it gave me the the AN ninety four, which allowed or gave me the opportunity to buy it from that wall. Um, and I chose you know whichever one to to put where. Um, and I'm going to show you the other ones here in a second. But basically, right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab the booze. This is from in the saloon. It will be in a very um a very kind of a varied number of places in the saloon on the tables. Um, but I basically want to feed the giant the the uh, booze right over here because I want to keep building the rest of these things over here because you get like a thousand points and then the last one that you end up building gives you two thousand points and it's free money and uh, I figure why not do it now if you don't want to do any of this and you just want to kill zombies there is uh, I mean you can fast forward towards the end of the video and it will start the training technique but really the second video will 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 cover all of the training this is more for the intro. Uh, getting acquainted with the level and all those those sorts of things. So there's a second part right there that I ended up painting on the wall. Now that I opened up that room, I have the opportunity, and luckily I didn't get a uh, nuke right there. I guess it wouldn't have mattered, but now I open this room right here, 
by having the, the giant hit this wall and I up, opened up the other uh, three parts. So I think there was, I think five or six, I think there's five uh, chocks. I'm going to go ahead and go this way and um, open up the upstairs. Uh, you don't have to, I think, I think I'll go back and up, open up the upstairs. There's so many areas you can unlock um, and you can get around depending on where you, you decide to unlock multiple ways. But this way is easy because I can unlock this and then get up stairs to the very very high upstairs if I get down you can see the railing right there I, I just passed on on the the right but this is where I wanted to go right here I wanted to go ahead and paint the next uh, spot right here and then um, you can see I can go back oh, where am I going now right I think I'm gonna go back in and look for a candy possibly Let's see what I end up doing here I, I Trying to remember what I end up doing. I think I go over and show you guys the candy. Um, yeah, so if you go across here and then right where the power was, you drop down and then you go in the candy room. Uh, basically, you feed the zombie candy, or not the zombie, you feed uh, the giant candy and then he'll end up building things for you or you can, it depends, I'm, I'm knifing the areas where the candy spawns right here. Um, depending on where you end up um, giving him candy, he'll, he'll either build buildables for you. He can leave the mystery box where you want it to be. Uh, he can uh, destroy zombies. If you if you feed him candy near a, uh, a crawler zombie, he'll actually pick up the zombie and like carry him with him and stuff. And if you have um, the candy or the booze, that uh, the giant dude will just kind of run towards you just to kind of a heads up. So I'm waiting right here and uh, it took a second. I cut out a, a minute of it here. But basically you wait for him. He ends up showing up. You feed him the candy right next to the buildable. And this is one of the, the places for the buildable. And you feed him um, for uh, the uh, the buildable. And you can see where you feed him near the buildable. And you can see he's running up into this room right here. Now if I would have opened this the door that um, right to my left it would allow me access there and I can actually end up building everything myself. I say forget about it. I have tutorials on where all the pieces are as well as where they all go, but I figured I'd go ahead and, and have him build it. I'll show you guys all the, the pieces here in a second though. Uh, but since he ended up building the trample steam up here, it ended up working out perfect for me because it'll, it's going to allow me to grab one of the other pieces that I need to, uh, to place f uh, the chalk. So I'm going to go ahead and run back to the back area back here. And I'm going to go grab one more of these things so there's again five total and this is the fourth one the last one I'll have to do in a later round because I have to go on the other side um, but uh, but I'll show you how to do that in a second and I'm gonna come back up this way and right above the mystery box basically there is a building that has a another drawing spot so I'm gonna go ahead it's a courthouse it's upstairs of the courthouse which you can't access except for from this way on this side of the map or uh, being on the other side of the map and then you can access it but I'm gonna go ahead and use a trample steam jump across and uh, go ahead and, and build this now if you don't have the trample steam you can pay for the the door downstairs in the courthouse and there's another buildable area over here um, but uh, but I just did it this way because it should just to show you like how you can do this and uh, look at that the trample steam works against you as well as for you sometimes anyway I'm gonna pick up the trample steam that way it won't kill the zombie and I'm gonna keep on going um, I believe I, now I have a ton of points I can do a bunch of different things I can buy things from the box I can um, buy booze from the uh, the area for the booze I'm decided to buy a gun uh, I recommend you actually getting the N94 if you don't have any luck getting stuff from the box the N94 is a solid piece but right here I'm showing you guys some of the pieces um, that where the, the, all the pieces are actually for all four of the buildables um, in the the map and if you don't want him to build it and you guys want to build it yourself again I have full tutorials on all these but I'm just knifing the areas right here where all the parts are and uh, you know they're all, they're all for various different parts um, and there's one right here there's usually one right here that was used for the trample steam one on the table that was used for the trample steam and then right here uh, is the part for the turbine. Now I'm just going to end up killing a couple zombies here and leaving one more. Since I started a new round I'm just going to kill all the zombies and leave uh, one one zombie. One or two zombies or whatever. That way I can uh, finish grabbing the booze and the candy and stuff again. Now if you didn't know uh, the, the booze and the candy respawn every single round. Uh, so if you use it once it will, won't come back until another round spawns. Unless you want to go ahead and buy it. You can buy the, uh, the candy from the register or you can buy the booze from the tap. Um, and it will cost a thousand points each. Uh, I recommend you basically just uh, waiting a, another round instead of wasting a lot of money opening things. But he does give you uh, points for when he, he knocks over things, so it is kind of nice as well. But I'm going to go ahead and go over here, and I could open the, the door downstairs instead. Um, since I already opened the one upstairs over here, I figured I'd, I think I would go ahead and go upstairs and, and do that um, to get across. But actually, 
Uh, since I have enough points right now, you, you need 2,500 points for Juggernog. I'm going to get Juggernog first. And this is, like, if you have a hard time, like er earlier rounds or whatever, I wouldn't knock over the Chalk first if you're trying to uh, just go ahead and, and do the zombie thing and not um, build all the Chalk. But uh, I would re definitely recommend you using the booze to, to get this. And again, I'm facing the direction I want him to go. He's His back is facing the direction that he ends up going. I know it's, that part is actually confusing to me for some reason. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and buy the Juggernaut. Now, these are the, the main two perks you really need uh, solo. You need Quick Revive and, and then you need Juggernaut. And, and those, those two are pretty much essential throughout uh, the game. Um, the rest of them are kind of nice to have, and you can see right here. If I wanted to buy more booze, you can buy booze for a thousand there, or there's just spots around the map. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and grab. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and grab the. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab the more candy since it's another round. I'm gonna grab another thing and have them uh, build another buildable, and then we'll uh, continue on. And I'm trying to find the candy right here, and you can see and here it is right over here. And so now I grabbed the candy, and I could go through that door again. I mean, it's really a waste of 750 points at this point. I just want to try to use it for other things. Uh, my dogs are barking right now. I got some pugs that are just sitting here barking at random things. Um, anyway, so he's going to come over this way, and I'm going to have him build whatever item is over here. Now, the items do change. I thought originally the items stayed the same, but they actually do change. And uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just give him the candy and see which one he builds. I believe it ends up being the turbine, but, but uh, again, the, the spots change. Sometimes it's a turbine, sometimes it's... The sub, whatever the heck, and other times it's um, other buildables. But uh, he's going to go out, run off and grab that. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward right here a little bit while we're waiting for him to build the rest of the parts. Again, they're all from that room over there. And then um, we'll uh, we'll end up killing some people. Now, just a heads up, uh, that, that device I just looked at is actually part of the Easter egg. And I'm not going to be covering that because you can't do it uh, solo. Uh, but anyway, so he's going to build a part right here. He ended up, let's see, building the turbine, which can be used for, with uh, sub whatever this sub something or other a resonator um, I can't remember the name of it but uh, it can be used and used in with that and kill zombies um, really you don't need to build any of the buildables though to be quite honest in solo uh, you can just get by with without now at this point I really need an automatic weapon um, it makes things a lot easier if you have an automatic weapon because you get a lot more points when you collat um, collateral the zombies and of course look at this I get a rocket so that was useful but uh, but then you can see that I got the teddy bear on top of the box, which gives you a higher percentage of getting like a wonder weapon. So unfortunately, I just ended up getting monkeys, and now I just have a sniper and a uh, and a rocket. Now, if you again have bad luck, I would have just bought the AN ninety four off the wall, and then you can get a lot more points a lot quicker. And then you can open the, the couple of the doors here and there. But since I didn't have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and go out of this way and uh, kill the zombies that come through. And it's only round three, so it's just extremely easy to kill. So I'm going to end up fast forwarding right here. But I'm going to end up heading into the area right here and grabbing the booze again. And then I'm going to have him use the booze on the other side of the map uh, to knock open one of the other doors. So to get over to the other side of the map, you can go through the doors where the candy shop is. Um, or I'm going to end up going a different way because I wanted to uh, show you that there's alternate routes. So there's definitely a lot of alternate alternate routes. When you get the uh, the paralyzer, it's even better because you can use it. And it lets you fly. It's crazy. But you can see right here, that's where I need to drop down. But I've shown you that if you unblock that for 750, you can come back on this side of the map. So there's two sides of the maps. Um, again, once you open the candy shop, which is where I'm facing right here, uh, you can get there or just jump down here. And then there's basically a couple different rooms and then the mansion on this side. So there's a place right there where the barrel is where you need it to have him ram the area where I shot at the mansion and then right back there. Uh, so there's three places that the giant can ram on this side. Um, I go ahead and just start off with the, uh, the church room because that's the area where you have the last part where you can use the, uh, the build, not the buildable, but the, the question mark on the wall and get your 2,000 points. So it's the last one for that plus there is a new perk back there as well as a buildable um, table so I'm gonna go ahead and just lure him back over here this this part can kind of be tedious just waiting and waiting and trying to get him to to be in the right spot so it ends up uh, working and then sometimes it doesn't work right and the zombies or the zombies will come at you and it's just, they're kind of annoying right here I thought he was gonna down me but luckily he ended up not downing me I ended up killing him just because he was in my way but right here you can see he ends up knocking off that, and I'm going to go back at this point and uh, grab the other chalk. I was going to open this door through the candy shop, but I decided to go through this side to show you that you can get back through uh, the other way. This is in the courthouse area, and if you go upstairs, there's the area where I painted one of them, and uh, 
the speed cola. That's where I use the trample steam to get up. And now I'm going to head back over and grab the last piece of chalk right here. And I fast forwarded this part because it's just kind of boring just going back and forth. And again, I could have opened that door there. I just was being kind of lame. And I'm going to go back this way and then drop down um, this this area right here. Sometimes it's smart to, to wait. I mean, any time you have money. I mean, I don't even have enough money to open the door. But sometimes um, it's money better used at other things if you want to be patient and taking the long way around things. But right here, I'm going to go ahead and watch the points. It goes from 2000 or 200 to, to 2200 So the last one you, you paint, you get 2000 from. The new perk is in here. I'll show you that later. And then there's a buildable bench in here as well. So, so far, I've shown you, I believe, all four buildable bench locations. And, uh, and the perk's right there, and there's a buildable bench right there again, just to show you. And I'm going to go back up and over to the other side. At this point, I'm, I'm set. I mean, I have Juggernaut. I have uh, all six or all five of the chalk places down. Um, I need to get an automatic weapon, and I need to just start making some money because I need to be able to get enough points that I can uh, open some of these other doors and, uh, and then j about you know, prepare myself to get to the other side. I really want to save up enough money to get the rest of the perks. It's important to have four perks uh, when you go over to the mansion area because if you do things right, um, you can get a fifth perk from the from the lady that's over in the mansion. And if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, you'll know soon. I'll be covering it in the second uh, episode of this beginner's guide. But right now I'm just grabbing the candy and I'm going to go ahead and have him uh, build another buildable location because I have um, enough of them. And if you saw the green orbs that just kind of flashed off me that was from fall damage and basically basically it gives me phd flopper which is a historical perk in call of duty zombies that when you do a um a dolphin dive it actually causes a little bit of an explosion around you and stuff which is pretty awesome but it doesn't last permanently which is kind of a bummer uh but uh but it is what it is and i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part right here basically i'm gonna go ahead and wait in this area and wait for the giant to get here and then i'm gonna give him the candy he's gonna run off grab the parts or he's gonna look at the blueprint grab the parts and then build the extra part that's over here and then um and then really the 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 beginning of the the killing of the zombies and stuff uh begins but i figured this is a really important video to help those that are like newer to the to the map um not necessarily how to kill zombies but this is newer to the map of zombies and uh of buried and how to kind of set yourself up so you'll be good to go i mean at this point you have I've, I've shown you guys a lot of options that you can uh, make a lot of money so you can get better guns. Unfortunately, it's a bad example because I got really crappy guns this first time. But I set myself up. I got Juggernog. Um, I have 2,000 points ready for a couple more pulls at the box. And then um, I'm ready to go for next uh, for next episode. So right here I ended up getting uh, a MTAR, which is an automatic uh, assault rifle, which is good. That will be useful. And then I was hoping to get rid of this guy right here, but we ended up losing the mystery box. So we'll continue this uh, episode of the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh.